I heard once being said that the basic difference between being assertive and being aggressive is how our words and behavior affect others. So aggressiveness is not necessarily a matter of malice. Some people have developed bad habits and simply don't realize where are the limits. For some it's a matter of culture and of difficulties in adapting to a changing environment. They might be therefore difficult to work with, these aggressive people, but let's have some hope for them. The active aggressors openly antagonize with their co-workers, friends, acquaintances, and even people they don't know. And it doesn't take much to understand this type of aggressiveness. The passive aggressors work secretly with hidden agendas. They keep information from you, they avoid decisions, and they ignore you. And you might say that these are not really aggressions, yet life proves differently. If you have to deal with either type of aggressive behavior in a coworker, a supervisor or someone else, you're going to waste time, energy and you will lose track of your real objectives if an aggressive incident steals too much resources from you. Say your boss insulted you in a meeting. Maybe not plainly, but still an insult. I don't know about you, the student of this course, but I have seen many losing nights about this or reacting with the same means. None of these actions proved extremely good. And I will repeat this, the problem here is our reaction. This is what we can actually control and improve. And our reaction is our weapon and we need to master this. But we are going to see together the right and wrong reactions in the next lectures. And we are going to use the six most relevant examples. First, the active aggressors, the openly hostile ones, insulting, verbal silence, sarcastic, dirty diggers and aggressive hotheads are three types of hostile aggressive people that we are going to discuss and this course will help you develop the skill and knowledge to work with these aggressive people. Information hiding knowledge wardens, unresponsive aggressors and avoidance prone wafflers are the three passive aggressive types of people that we are going to discuss also. This course will enable you to develop the skills and knowledge to work with passive aggressive people also. So to conclude, you will most likely encounter some form of aggressive behavior at work or in your life. Some behavior will be overtly hostile while other behavior will be manipulative and sneaky. How you react will make the difference. Aggressive behavior in the workplace or in your life is difficult for supervisors and co-workers to deal with calmly and rationally, but for all the other people involved. And an effective approach is to understand the types of behavior you can expect to encounter, as well as ways to cope with each type of aggressive people that you are going to meet. So this is what this course is about trying to understand aggressors and trying to see how you can react. Therefore, in this course, you'll learn traits of three types of hostile aggressive people and three types of passive aggressive people. You'll also explore ways to deal with these types of aggressive co-workers and supervisors on the job and in your real life. Thank you for watching. The next lesson will be about the verbal silence, who are they and what we need to know to manage them.